In this video, we will look at Hofting's inequality. Hofting's inequality gives you a theoretical bound for committing a mistake in your MLE calculation. So here we have to define two things. One is the bound and the other is the mistake itself. So what do we consider a mistake? So let's define some terms here. Uh, first, let's start with uh, our MLE, whatever we estimate theta cap is our MLE that we are estimating, theta star is the true parameter value which we don't know. So that is what theta star is and epsilon. So epsilon is the amount of error that you are willing to allow in your MLE calculation. So here we can see that we are trying to limit the error to epsilon in the MLE calculation. The difference between MLE and the true parameter, here we are saying we limit it to epsilon. And then we are saying that probability of the difference between the estimated value and the true value greater than or equal to epsilon. If we are limiting it to epsilon, the difference, what does this quantity signify, this entire quantity? This entire quantity signifies the probability of making a mistake. In the calculation because we want the difference to be as minimum as possible so that is what we have by defining epsilon and whenever our estimation is off by more than epsilon then we have made a mistake in the calculation so epsilon is the amount that we are allowing and anything more than epsilon is a mistake. So this entire quantity gives the probability of making a mistake. And we are bounding the probability of making a mistake by this. So, which means that we know that we want to limit this probability of making a mistake to another small number. So, this is another small number which we want to limit the probability of making a mistake. So let's look at this by substituting some numbers and going through an example. Okay. So, let's say our epsilon value is 0.1 which means that we are prepared to allow a difference of 0.1 between our estimated MLE and the true parameter value and this entire quantity is probability of making a mistake so we are bounding probability of making a mistake by this this whole quantity. Now, this value, we know that's a small number. So, we are, let's say we substitute this with delta, which is less than or equal to 0 0.05. So, we want, so we know that the probability of committing a mistake is less than or equal to this, this whole quantity. And now, we are saying that this should be less than or equal to probability of making a mistake less than or equal to 0 0.05 so we can solve this separately that's what we are doing next probability of mistake is less than or equal to 2e to the minus 2n epsilon square less than or equal to delta so delta is point 0, 0.05 substituting that v and solving for this so we take log on both sides and eliminate e so that gives us ln delta greater than or equal to 
ln 2 minus 2n epsilon square. Now, substituting some actual values, epsilon equal to 0 0.1, delta equal to 0 0.05, we get 190 tosses. It's not a lot of tosses, right? So, we can reliably estimate theta by unbound it to 0 0.05 by tossing the coin for 190 times. So, Hofting's inequality is a way to understand how many data points that you need so that you can use that to calculate MLE reliably.